Emirates President Sir Tim Clark spoke at length earlier this month about the future of his airline. Within the discussions, he settled on a proposition that could change the face of airline travel for good. Emirates is keen to work up a partnership with one of the US Big Three, with Clark believing it's time to see all the historical bad blood as water under the bridge. During a webinar, Clark was quick to reiterate his lack of faith in the commercial alliances around the world. His public declaration as never being a fan of airline alliances is nothing new. He's been saying the same for several decades. However, he's also keen to point out that strategic alliances, when done in the right way, could be highly beneficial to both parties. He cites Emirates' agreement with Qantas as a clear example. Clark continued by saying, I'd like to think that Emirates will get access to US partners. It would make absolute sense if Emirates dealt with one of the big three US airlines. Emirates is not a member of any of the big global airline alliances. Despite some rumours of interest in Star Alliance in 2000, the airline has since opted to remain independent. But that's not to say it doesn't operate in partnership with other carriers. The airline has code shares with 21 other airlines, including Qantas, Korean, Malaysia Airlines and JetBlue. It works very closely with Fly Dubai to provide regional connectivity within the Middle East, but has never found a friend on the other side of the Atlantic. Nevertheless, Clark sees a huge opportunity for a partner in the US, saying, Emirates would deliver a huge amount of business to whichever of the big three was selected, working on a commercial basis, because we are the single largest producer in terms of available kilometers coming out of the Middle East spread into the United States. We have to currently arrange access to low-cost carriers or passengers make their own arrangements, so there's a huge opportunity there for unleashing an enormous amount of commercial potential that Emirates could bring to the United States without going into an alliance. It's mutually beneficial. There's no love lost between the Middle East carriers and the US, who've been long on the receiving end of loud accusations of illegal state aid. With the US airlines now on the receiving end of state bailouts for their survival, Sir Tim is hopeful that previous bad blood will soon be water under the bridge, saying, As far as subsidies are concerned, it's ironic that the very people who were so beastly to us in the past are now facing the same problem. But you know, you've got to be grown up about this. I'm the last person who wants to see airlines go out of business because I understand the criticality of them to the global economy, irrespective of their policies. It's very important the industry doesn't go under. Clark hopes that US airlines will take a fresh look at their stance and become more open to a partnership, saying, The notion that you'd throw your toys out the cot and not have an agreement makes no sense. A partnership with Emirates would be a tap that you could turn on and sit back and watch it just fill large numbers of their airplanes. So, who would be a likely partner? American Airlines is a One World member alongside its new code share partner Qatar, so it's unlikely to be in the running. While United has no Middle Eastern ties in its own network, its Star Reliance partner, Turkish Airlines, has a fair bit of crossover with the Emirates network. Delta, on the other hand, is a key contender. Historically, pretty agnostic to its status as a SkyTeam member, preferring to launch its own joint ventures and partnerships, there's some good potential for the two airlines. Furthermore, Emirates code share agreements at WestJet, LATAM and Korean Air are all joint venture partners of Delta. China Southern is even a co-chair partner of both. How receptive Ed Bastian and his team would be to a tie-up with Emirates would be interesting to see, given his efforts to slam the Middle East three in the past. Would you be keen to see an Emirates partnership with one of the US Big Three? Which would be the best fit? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.